Hey everyone, my name is Gladrocker, and whoa, what's that? Oh, it's just the topic of today's video. We're reacting to creepy, realistic Pokemon. I had this idea in the shower last night. I was like, let's do it. Let's make a video on this. All right, so here's the plan. All of you know, I'm impossible to scare. Nothing scares me. So I figured, why not go to Google Images, type in creepy, realistic Pokemon, and see if they have what it takes to spook me. All right, the first one. Oh, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. That Cubone looks like a skinwalker. And what's up with this Jigglypuff? This looks like that Red Miss Squidward meme. All right, we're already off to a horrible start. I, I hate both of these things. If this is what Pokemon looked like in real life, I would not catch any. I just stay in that starter town house in whatever generation I'm in. Next up, we got, oh, gross. What is that, a wheezing? Ew. They're not supposed to have massive fangs, are they? Do Weezings have fangs? They do! I never even noticed that. I like how it's got the smoke puffing out on top. I hate how the other two pieces are like welded into the main one. That's disgusting. I can just see this whole entity pulsing. Ugh. Oh, I should rate these. What am I doing? This Weezing is like an eight. It's horrifying and it's really well drawn. Oh my God! That's a Vulpix. And I think it just ate a, a human? I honestly have no idea what that is. Doesn't matter, it's dead. The death stare into our souls is a nice touch. Thank God there's no coloring in this image. I could just imagine if it was colored, you'd just see blood everywhere. It would be like super, super red. That's disgusting. Hate that. All right, for the fear factor alone, I think this Vulpix is getting like a nine out of 10. That is one thing I would not want to be anywhere remotely close to. Could you imagine having this as a pet? Oh, that's a Mimikyu, okay. We're no longer in generation one, we've expanded. That's a lot of rows of teeth. That's giving me some FNAF 4 vibes. And I like how they gave some detail to the main monster, you know, like underneath the, the, the cloak. I like that, I like that. There's two faces, as there should be. I give this one like a, like a six out of 10. It's spooky, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it kind of looks a little bit cute and cuddly, too. So the next one is gonna be... Bulbasaur. <laughs> I mean, this is like the first non-scary realistic Pokemon. It's still creepy, don't get me wrong. A lot of attention to detail. This looks hyper-realistic. I can picture this guy walking around like in a Jurassic Park movie. Honestly, super adorable. I would keep this as a pet. I like how it has like a big head of lettuce on the back of it. <laughs> Alright, this cute little Bulbasaur is gonna get a, a 7.5 out of 10. Okay, not because it's scary, but because how well of a job the artist did on it. I like it a lot. Oh! Oh! Ew! Is that supposed to be a Gengar? The entire shape is like off. I mean, I guess the artist took an approach of just like of making it very gaseous. It really is like a shadow here. And look at the creepy realistic human teeth. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That thing is horrifying. They could make a legitimate movie out of this. Like a Chucky kind of movie, but with this abomination. All right, I'm giving this nightmare fuel. This is like a solid nine out of 10. That thing is nasty. Absolutely nasty. Oh my God, this has to be the same artist as the Vulpix we saw before. Ew, that thing is hideous. Absolutely hideous. Its neck is coming apart. I can't even count the teeth on it. Imagine getting bit by that. You get rabies for sure. I hate the stare. The head tilt is a nice touch. That makes it extra spooky. This is getting a 9 out of 10. I hate it. I hate it. I want to look away. You know what? Next. Next. Oh! That's a Venusaur. At least I think it is. It could be an Ivysaur. Absolutely terrifying stare. Its eyes are literally bleeding. Don't tell me they're not. That is blood underneath its eyeballs. These images are so scary. I hate this. Whose idea was this? I had this idea in the shower last night. I was like, let's do it. Let's make a video on this. Solid nine out of 10. All right, we're, we're moving along here. Ooh, okay. I see the Agron families here. They all look like very realistic dinosaurs. That's kind of cool. 
I don't know though. I mean, I like how they're realistic in a sense, but I like the overall shape and form of how Agron normally looks with all that like armor on its back. And it's just missing that in, in this picture here. So I'm gonna give this one like a five out of 10. Mewtwo. That is not the Mewtwo I remember. Look at that umbilical cord or whatever that is. It's leaking. There's puddles of Mewtwo on the floor. Our Mewtwo's leaking. Someone get a mop. I don't like that. Could you imagine if the first Pokemon movie used that instead of the actual Mewtwo? There'd be a whole new rating on that. That's like an eight out of 10. I hate that. Oh my God. Okay. Nope, 10 out of 10. We're moving past creepy realistic pincer here. Didn't like that. What is going on? We've hit a streak of 10 out of 10s. Again, the same artist as the Pikachu and the Vulpix, except this one is far worse. I hate the open, gaping mouth. That is disgusting. Its eyeballs are horrifying. This looks like Jeff the Killer, if any of you are familiar with that. If, if you're not, I don't know where you've been, because everyone should know it. And I like how it's like on a little stump too. It's very reminiscent of like that first episode it appeared in, in the anime. Damn. What is this? Is this a muck? That is a weird, weird looking muck. It's got the outstretched arm. Okay, nice attention to detail. And it's got some warts. I think that's not in the original artwork. <laughs> that's an extra touch added by this artist. I feel like muck should have warts, so. I think that's a row of bottom teeth that's barely visible. I'm gonna go ahead and, and honestly give this one like a like an eight and a half out of 10, just cause imagining myself being smothered by it freaks me out. And let's just move on to the next one. I don't like looking at this. <laughs> this is just the apom from Detective Pikachu. I love how this is just thrown in here. It's still terrifying, don't get me wrong. Even if a, a movie studio creates this, it's just as horrifying. I don't like it. This thing would lunge at you immediately and start just ripping you to shreds. And I, I hate how like the tail has like those little feelers, those little fingers on it. Disgusting, absolutely disgusting. Nine out of 10. Imagine being in a jungle surrounded by these things. You just get touched all over, that's disgusting. No, thank you. <laughs> What the hell is this? Is this a Diglett? They're not supposed to have whiskers. This guy took the original Diglett and just made it into like a little rodent. Honestly, respect. 10 out of 10. This thing is adorable. Absolutely adorable. I like it a lot. That's kind of funny, this depiction of Diglett. I can just picture it popping out of the ground, sniffing around a little bit, and going back down inside. <laughs> what? Ew! I mean, that is what Geodude is essentially, just a, a rock with biceps, right? So, they're not wrong with this artwork. I, I feel like they could have like put more into it though. This looks like it took two seconds on Photoshop. <laughs> This, this is funny, this is funny, I will say, but uh, for a rating, I'd give it like a six out of 10, okay? Uh, again, it looks like it was just whipped up in a matter of seconds on Photoshop, so. Oh my God, nope. Absolutely not. They did not do Chansey like this. This is the Pokemon that Nurse Joy is supposed to have by her side in the Pokemon Center when they're healing your Pokemon. I don't like this at all. This looks like a little alien. It's egg pouch is way too tiny and it looks like it's just popping out from the insides of it. That's disgusting. Look at the toes. Look at those curled up toes ready to just spring out and start dashing towards you. Hate this so much. It's got multiple antenna. I, does Chansey even have antenna? Oh, no, no, no. Chansey has little ears. But they made them more like little feelers. Again, with this whole alien vibe here. It has literal stubble. That is disgusting. That is a grown adult male right there with stubble all over it. I'm giving this one a negative one out of 10 because I just absolutely despise it. In fact, I'm going to end the video here. Quite frankly, I don't want to look at anything else for the rest of the day. Comment below which ones were your favorites. My favorite was definitely the Diglett by far. The thing was so cute. Not this. This Chansey can go to hell. I hate this so much. Gross. On that note, I'm going to pour some bleach in my eyes. Catch you all the next video. Peace.